Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Thursday, November the 12th, and it's 7.07 a.m. I wanted to share this dream with you that our sister in Christ said I could share and uh, see if you don't get out of it what I did. And if you have questions, you feel free to ask, okay? Um, it's very detailed. All right, lots of symbolism in this dream, she says. I was with my father. He was taking me out for a birthday dinner, just the two of us. I was dressed in a business suit. The Holy Spirit revealed this as, I must be about my father's business. Remember when I did Julie Wedby's message and that's that was said in it and heels so she was dressed in a business suit and heels I looked much like I did at 22 we sat at this small round table and had dinner there was white wine in a bottle I had some in my glass but my father didn't drink any we got up to dance a slow dance. My father looked very somber and serious. While dancing this slow dance, I could feel the incredible love he had for me. The dance ended and he said, it's time to go. We took the two or three steps over to the table and I grabbed the wine bottle as Half of it was full, and I said, we might as well take it as we paid for it. We then turned to leave. The dream changed. I saw a house that was missing one wall. My father walked me up to this house, then turned around and walked away. I looked into this house and saw my three daughters all watching me. My mother was in a bed, which of course now she's deceased. Okay, she was in a bed, yet she reminded me of one in a coffin. She sat straight up and said, aren't you going to kiss me goodbye? I took a step towards her then stopped as if thinking I should not go to her. I just threw her a kiss and turned around. As I turned, I saw her fall back into bed again as the dead. I took a quick glance up through the missing wall and saw my children again, but I walked away as I left them behind, I said, goodbye. The dream changed again. I was still in my business suit. Someone was to my left, but I don't know who he was. He was blurry. My father was still in his suit looking at me. I saw two pitchers of white milk one smaller than the other. He said to me, you have had enough milk. This is for others. This milk symbolized the simple gospel message. I stood up to follow my father. End of dreams. When I awoke, I was given the meaning of these dreams. The birthday dinner is a symbol of me being birthed into my next role on earth. My father was reassuring me <clears throat> of his love, <clears throat> excuse me, and the intimacy of our relationship shown by the table for two, as well as the slow dance we had together. This was very beautiful. This birthday dinner was short and to the point, yet reassuring, both of us dressed in business suits. Time to get to work. 
Seeing the house with no wall gave me easy access to see what was before me within that house. Nothing there for me at this time. My mother represented the dead. Nothing there for me. That's why I walked away without touching her. This last dream is about being about my father's business. I am to go out giving the gospel message. All through these dreams, I was very focused on my father and what he was calling me to do. I believe that these, I believe that things are about to suddenly change all around us. I feel a very strong sense of seriousness and calling. It is not excitement as we are going into situations that are very uncomfortable and unpleasant. There is no fear or dread. It is a sense of stepping outside of time as if those human Feelings did not belong in this situation. It is extremely goal-oriented. Get out of there and get the job done. I hope this reassures you as it does me. I have waited 50 years for this time. I am ready. <laughs> So when she said outside of time, I was like, wow, that's, that's how Kathy and Dan put it. We're going outside of time and then we'll be coming, visiting time while we're outside of time. Almost like we're in a bubble and, we, and we'll be protected and nothing can hurt us. It'll be so, it'll be awesome. But like she says, it's. We'll see some things we, you know, as humans, we couldn't, you know, we probably wouldn't tolerate. We'd break down or something, you know. But we'll have the strength to do it and know what to do and to help the people. Okay, that's just me adding that. Okay, so I'm going to end it here. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over each and every one of us and our devices and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.